Hello, sixth grade students, and welcome to Math in Less Than Five Minutes with me, Mrs. Grage. And today we're looking at lesson 83 in the textbook, Proportions. Now, you have been doing this math for a while, so don't panic when you see something like this. What a proportion is, is balancing um, the, the numbers, okay? So when you have two over five, and you have six over x. We've always been asking, what is x? So what did you do to two to make it become six? What did you multiply two by? And remember, we're all about balancing that equation. You multiplied it by three. What you do to one side of the equation, you must do to the other side of the equation. Therefore, three times five is 15. So the proportion is two over five is the same as 6 over 15, right? And that's all we're doing today is solving for that missing number. Here we go. Here's another one. Imagine the proportion this time is uh, 3 over 4 is the same as, let's put it as 9 over y, okay? We're asking the question, what did you do to 3 to make it become 9? you multiplied it by three. Therefore, what you do to one side of the equation, you do to the other, and then y is 12. So three over four is the same as nine over 12. I'm gonna do two more. Use your paper if you're with me. Let's make this one uh, 10 over 25 is the same as L over 50. What's L? Well, what did you do to 25 to make it become 50? You multiplied it by 2. Therefore, multiply the top by 2. 2 times 10 is 20, so L is 20. So that's pretty straightforward, but sometimes it gets tricky. So imagine this time you have 4 over 12, right, is um, x over 30. Okay, what did I do to 12 to get to 30? 12 times something is 30. No, it's not. Because 12 times 3 is 36. And 12 times 2 is 24. What am I going to do here? Well, you're still using 12, but there's something you've done with the 12. So if we did 12 times 2, we'd get 24. But it's not 24. It's not times 2. What if I added half of 12? 24 adds 6. Oh, yeah, that works. 24 add half of 12 is 30. So in this case, I multiplied it by 2.5. I multiplied it by 2.5. So now you have to do the same here. You have to multiply the 4 by 2.5. So 4 times 2.5. Well, 2 times 4 would be 8, and we're going to do half of 4, which is 2, and the answer will be 10, right? So this time x is 10. So sometimes you're not just multiplying it by a whole number. We've multiplied it by 2, we've multiplied it by 5. You're multiplying it sometimes by a whole number and a half. So watch out for those sneaky, sneaky ones because they will appear in your math. Have a great day. Email me if you have any questions. Bye, guys.